Yo, yo! What up, guys? It's Mike coming at you today with another video. Um, first off, I'm driving, so if it's hard to hear me, bear with me. Um, in any case, um, I'm heading to an abandoned spray paint or paint factory in Connecticut today. So I'm driving there right now. I just got to make one stop first. Um, but it's a huge warehouse building. Um, I believe it was a paint factory or a spray paint factory at one point in time. And um, slowly over time, since it's been abandoned, they've kind of knocked down a couple parts to the buildings. But pretty much it's all still intact for the most part and uh, free to explore. There is some security that is potentially there at times. Um, they post up and try to catch people going in. Um, but in any case, hopefully they're not there and uh, it should be smooth sailing from here. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm almost there. Stay tuned. What's up guys? We're almost there, but um, prior to getting there, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is like a personal favorite uh, place to go to of mine. Um, it's right near my hometown where I grew up, so I'm used to going there often. In the past, I went there a lot. And uh, there's a lot of cool graffiti and artwork on the walls and all over the place. So it just adds to the ambiance of the place. Really cool place, guys. Really gotta check it out if you're in the area in Connecticut. Highly recommend it. But um, in any case, about to pull up, so when I get there, I'll check back in with you guys. So hang tight. All right, y'all, I'm about to be pulling up to the place right now. I gotta park in a parking lot adjacent to the complex. Um, the parking lot for the old abandoned spray paint factory is all gated off. So I gotta park in the parking lot next door, which happens to be like a, either a Home Depot or a Lowe's and then a Lowe's and then a hotel parking lot. So I'm pulling up right now. About to get this. Get it good. Hopefully, really hoping I don't have any problems with some security that could be here potentially. But uh, as long as I lay low, I should be straight. Should be all good. So I'm here right now, parking up right as we speak. So that's it right there. If you can see through my windows. So I gotta walk through some snow to get there. But that's all good. No worries. All right, I'm about to head over to the property right now, but just to throw it out, <coughs> excuse me, to throw it out there, this place is known by locals to be called Bum's Warehouse. Just wanted to throw that out there. Here we are, finally made it. Oh my gosh, this place is flooding like crazy. Check it out. Yeah, anyways, like I think I said earlier, this place is coated and covered in graffiti. A lot of it is really good artwork, too, which is pretty cool. About to wet my feet. They're gonna get wet, man. Oh my gosh. This place is flooding a little bit too much to walk through, but it'll be all right. I think I can manage. Squeeze through. So right now we're actually in an attached building. The main building is across that bridge and down a flight of stairs. It's kind of tricky to navigate around in here right now because everywhere is dripping with water from the ceilings, if you can see. Dang, this water's kind of deep. Oh well. Yeah, I'm walking on my heels right now. I look like a duck. Word to me. Anyways, I'm on the bridge right now, heading into the main building which is right here. Look at all that graffiti, it's so cool guys. Really highly recommend this place, come check it out. Hope it's not too dark down in the main warehouse building because I did not bring a flashlight. Kind of spur the moment stopped here. This place is pretty big guys, like I said. Now we're going to head down these stairs.
Luckily, I know this place pretty well, so I'm not going to get lost or anything like that. Yeah, it is pretty dark in here, guys. So this is one of the main warehouse rooms, if you will. Oh my gosh, I could have sworn I just saw something move over there. I'm not even joking. Uh, anyways. It's all good. Yeah, sorry about the poor lighting, guys. I'm recording on my uh, cell phone right now, too. My GoPro is not in service right now, so bear with me on that, too, for the quality. There actually used to be a tire swing or a rope swing that was right here with a tire attached to the end of the rope you could swing on, but that's gone now. People in my town used to set up like um, a mini skate park in the back room over there too where uh, they would skate and scooter and do all biking sorts of stuff and everything. It's pretty cool too. Look at all this graffiti guys. And this is just some of it. We're not even touching the whole place. Like, it's going to be hard to walk around the whole place. It's really big. But um, I'll try to get you guys some images or uh, still footage, standing still of as much graffiti as possible. Because it's all so cool. Like, it really is. It's dope. So I got to check real quick, see if the security guy's here. Usually he parks his car if he's here, somewhere in the back room over here. So let's check it out real quick. Gotta be careful real quick. And I don't see him, which is good. This place is huge, guys, like I keep saying. Another huge room filled with graffiti, covering all the walls. Don't know where to begin. There are a couple pieces of artwork on the walls done by, you know, in graffiti that are really um, noticeable and um, highly sought after to find. There's actually one painting on the wall that's said to be cursed and haunted. I forget where that is though, but if I see it, I'll definitely include it in this video. I think I hear a car. Maybe it's just my imagination. Who knows? Let's go this way. Into the darkness. Let's get it. Dang, these side rooms are really flooded. I'm talking like two to four inches of water on the ground. There's a little beam I would always walk out on and balance on. It's pretty cool. Can't get to it though because the floor is soaked with like, like I said, two to four inches of water probably, at least. But anyways, keep thinking I see something or someone out of the corner of my eye. And it could very well be. A lot of people are known to come here. So I wouldn't doubt it if I saw somebody or other people exploring here too. Now I want to see if I can get to the back room over here, one of the back rooms and side rooms, because there's a staircase that leads up to the roof area. So let's see if we can get to it with all this water on the ground. Yep, there's the staircase. See, it goes up there and right there. I just got a face full of water from the ceiling. That's, that's a dub. Oh jeez, how deep is this? There we go, not that bad. Let's take a little trip up these stairs for old time's sake. We used to all chill on the roof, which is really cool. It was awesome, not gonna lie.
going up. And going up again. Pretty high up, actually, not going to lie. Oh, wow, this little gate's open. Usually this was locked in the past. So we're on the second floor of Bum's Warehouse. There's the roof right here. Access through this door. Over the years, I'm assuming it's got sketchy since the last time I was here. The roof was already, oh, they, wow, they bolted it shut. They chained it shut. No wonder it's probably unsafe to walk on now after all these years. Not too bad. They actually used to have these two like tower pillar looking things with a ladder on the side you could climb up and uh, fool around on. So that was uh, something in itself, but it's gone now. They tore them down. It is very important when you guys are urban exploring to watch your step too. Because look at this. If I fall, that's a 20 foot drop down to the, not basement, but the first floor. Jeez. Anyways, onward. Same thing right there. Look at this. Straight hole in the ceiling or in the, um, the ground. All right, I'm going to head back downstairs. Let's get it. All right, so we just made it down. By we, I mean me. Yeah, look guys, that's what I was just up on right now, right there. That's one of the holes that I was standing next to, like 15 to 20 feet above me. Onto concrete, if you fall from there, either seriously, seriously injured or you're dead, depending on how you land. There's really no guarantee what would happen. Luckily, playing it safe today. I'm gonna walk outside for a second. There's a bunch of little doors that lead in and out of the building along the side. So let's see what we got over here. So we're on the side of the building right now. Oh, that's some nice colorful graffiti right there, folks. Good stuff. There used to be like some scaffolding too right here that you could climb on, but they've since removed it, as you can see. Used to be attached to that right there, as you can see. Damn, this sidewalk is flooded. Holy shit. Excuse my language. Just keeps getting deeper and deeper. I can't believe it. My shoes are soaked. Oh my gosh. Got to take some cover for a minute inside. Ooh. All right, guys. I just heard another noise. Word on everything. Anyways, like I was saying, I just wanted to make a brief video since I was in the area in Connecticut. And uh, I'm going to head back to my car, most likely. This place is dripping with water. Hard to navigate right now because of that for the most part. So head back to my car and uh, keep you guys in the loop on the way back to the car. Yeah, it's just taco. Every time I come here, I'm just 
so taken back by how much graffiti is actually on these walls and in this place. Years and years of work, folks. Lots of stuff to see. All right, in any case, like I said, I'm heading back to my car right now. That was a quick little exploration for y'all. Whoa, heard something again. See that little face right there? Look at that. Oh, I love this mural, this graffiti right here. Check it out. Sick. Halloween right there. You know it. Come on, somebody. That's sick. So there's the bridge we walked across from that building to the main building earlier, if you remember. I'm going out a different way than the way I came in, but same thing really. I love this graffiti too, look at that rock. It's funny as all hell. And check out this graffiti on these walls right here, guys. Some of my favorite works out here, to be honest. This piece of artwork's really cool, too. Check that out. Sick. Anyways, onward. Yeah, I love that thing. I can't get over it. For real, for real. This thing is great. Really good artwork, too, considering what it is. It's pretty simple, but it still stands out, which is what I like about it most. Ah, oh, man, this place brings back memories on top of memories, I swear to you. I'm getting old. Anyways, guys. Almost back at the car right now, so you all know. Just wanted to wrap this video up by saying I appreciate you guys and your views and you watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Um, it was a brief video. I wish I could have made it longer, but kind of in a rush. I actually have to be somewhere soon. So I'm cutting the video short, per se. And uh, like I said, about to be at my car. Just wanted you guys to know I appreciate y'all. And uh, stay tuned for more content to come, guys. A lot, lot more places I'm going to be exploring like this. So uh, you can look forward to that. But uh, in any case, I'm back at the whip right now. So I'm going to sign off from this video. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and cheers and ciao. Peace, y'all.